What's up everyone, so JT, I'm sure we all know who he is, a revolutionary YouTuber who exposes the wrong channels on YouTube. He's a good guy and I respect him, but I feel like this time he did something wrong. So basically what happens is JT decided to strike Keemstar for putting one of his thumbnails in his video for basically the entire video. Keemstar himself decided to put this image in his video, but I wouldn't care if he used the image for maybe 10 seconds. He's put thumbnails in videos before for maybe 10 seconds, but this thumbnail of mine is in the video for the entire video. But literally from the beginning, you can see it, I'm scrolling through the entire video, it's still there. He actually takes it off for maybe 10 seconds and shows some other photos of Leafy's Twitter. And then he puts it back on. So yeah, that's why JT wanted to strike Keemstar for simply putting one of JT's thumbnails in his video. So I have to disagree with JT on this one. I don't hate JT. I respect the hell out of him. But I think copyright striking someone because they showed your thumbnail in their video is a little excessive. Now something that's even more annoying about this, okay? He didn't link me anyway. He didn't give me any sort of credit. He didn't say, oh, I found this from JT. He just acts like it's, it's nothing, you know, he just found this image, he just put it on his video. Yeah, of course he acts like it's nothing, because it pretty much is nothing, it's just a thumbnail. It's not like he re-uploaded your entire video, and it's fair use, it's not like Keemstar claimed the thumbnail was his, I don't see the big deal. Do you really think striking someone because they showed your thumbnail in their video regardless of how short or long it was, was the right action for this? I don't even think giving credit was necessary. Don't sit there, okay, and tell me you wouldn't be mad if somebody did this to you. Imagine if you were a YouTuber, that was your thumbnail, okay? And then a way bigger YouTuber, a YouTuber that a lot of people watch, took what you made. No, I wouldn't be mad if that happened to me. Maybe if the other person set my thumbnail as their thumbnail for their video and just claimed it was their thumbnail, then I would be pissed off about it. The last thing some people are going to say, why didn't you just message Keemstar? Well, how the hell am I going to do that? Huh? How am I going to message him when his DMs aren't even open? He doesn't follow me. I'm not just able to message him. Plus, I tweeted it out and people tagged Keemstar in it a lot. He had every chance to respond, I'm pretty sure he saw it, he sees most things that people tweet at him. Come on, don't be ridiculous JT, you're a YouTuber with over 500,000 subscribers. Within that range, you could pretty much contact 95% of YouTubers and get a response back, and didn't this just happen today? You're not even giving Keemstar enough time to respond, he could be sleeping right now, who knows? So, I think there's gonna be a low percentage of people who are gonna call me a Keemstar fanboy, which is not true, I'm more of a scarce type of guy, but yeah, sure, Keemstar did some bad things you didn't like, but it's not like he's a bad person. I still think he deserves a fair chance when it comes down to a situation like this. And JT really sounds like he's committed to striking Keemstar and that he's 100% right and there's no way he could be wrong. So if this falls back on him, I really hope he is not like, before I uploaded this video, I knew it was wrong. I sincerely apologize. I just have a feeling that's going to happen. I really hope JT doesn't get cancelled over this. He made a mistake, but it's just one mistake. We should give him a chance of being redeemed. No one's perfect. Every YouTuber has their share of doing something stupid that makes half the world hate them. Like the discord drama i got into a few months back so that's going to be it for this video see you guys in the next video bye everyone